Hey here, founder, host, lead educator with the ACA. I'm here with a really special announcement. If you're here live, come on over, say hey, say hello. Tell me where you're viewing from. I'm streaming this live in quite a few places. So I think that everyone should be able to see me and hear me, and I think that I can see all of your comments. All right, I think so. All right, sometimes we never know when we're doing the live thing. Sometimes it doesn't work out that way. Okay. So uh, what I wanna talk to you guys about today is the Crochet Instructor Training Program at the American Crochet Association exclusively. I wanna run down that just a little bit, tell you guys just a little bit more about it. Uh, but also, I'm really excited that even though this is tried and true, it's been at the American Crochet Association for many, many years. It's helped hundreds and hundreds of people. Um, I was looking at it and I thought, you know what, I'm going to change some things around. So I just wanted to walk you guys through it, um, show you guys what it looks like and what I hope to do. And I would absolutely love your feedback. This is also an open invitation um, for everyone. All right. So if you are already part of the Crochet Instructor Training Program, um, you guys are going to get access to a live participation, a live testing, a live restructuring of this. Um, I always test things out with a live audience, with a community, before I implement any kind of changes. And uh, the first live conversation to restructure this is going to be this weekend, and I'm going to give you guys all the details, so I don't want you to miss out on that. Uh, and if you are not yet part of the Crochet Instructor Training Program and you've been thinking about it, if you want to teach crochet, now may be the perfect time to step in the door, all right? I'm going to give you guys the links in the video description. That way you can click on over, get all the details, log in, um, find out more, sign up today, all that kind of stuff. So again, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and drop them. I will get to them as soon as I see them. All right, crochet instructor training. Uh, this is everything that you need to know to teach crochet with confidence. I put this course together after teaching for decades and decades and decades. Um, I've not only taught personally, it, you know, with individuals and in group settings, um, I've also put together tons of courses, not only with the American Crochet Association, but in places like Craftsy. Um, so the reason I'm telling you that is that I have, uh, I've got lots of experience, I've made tons of mistakes, and this course and any course that I put together is just letting you know, um, hey, these are some hurdles that we can get over and here's a better path, here's a better way, here's some tools, here's some resources. Um, you know, get rid of all the stuff that doesn't work, just do what works. So that's mainly what this is about. Okay, so Crochet Instructor Training Program is at our school. And uh, this is just the sales page. So if you guys want more information, here's some details on it. Again, questions, comments, feedback, just let me know, okay? Uh, so I'm walking you guys behind the scenes, okay? So once you're a student, once you log in, this is what it looks like. Now, you can view this information on your favorite smart device. I'm showing you guys what it looks like on a desktop. Um, I've got a pretty big desktop and that's why you can see my face and this whole screen. Um, you can view this on something as small as a smartphone. It may not be your favorite experience, but it's doable. Um, you can also view this on a tablet or something like that. However you're viewing it, it's going to be formatted to fit that screen so it may look a little different. Now, once you walk in the door, I just wanted to show you what kind of information and is in the teaching program and how it's structured. So the first thing that you're going to see, okay, here's all the included material. Material, meet your instructor, here I am, nice to see you. Um, but also this is all the included material. This is everything that you get with this. This is, this is what's in this. Um, now, whenever you click these buttons, it takes you through the progression of this course. So start the next lesson, it's gonna bring you to that lesson. But I'm gonna look at just the overview of what's included. Now, the overview of what's included is how to use this school, how to move through, through the courses. So this is just kind of a technical introduction so that you, you don't go, well, where's the stuff or how do I do this? You know, I'm not very tech savvy, so I need things to be in color, monosyllabic. It needs to be so user friendly. So that's why I have this here. There's a welcome video for me. And uh, here you go. If you're already in the teaching program, I want you to click on community, okay? Now, when you click on community, that's where there's more details and information about how to participate in the live 
refilming, reformatting all of that um, portion of this content. Um, I don't like to just put a bunch of content where there's already content. I think that that's really confusing. So this course right here, um, if you j are just like, I just want the information, I don't want any of the other stuff, then here you go. So if you wanna upgrade, you can upgrade and it's $29 a year. Um, there's a private community where you can ask questions, share pictures, there's gonna be live videos. Uh, tons of conversations and I like things sectioned out so it's all going to be in one place in terms of um, you know all the reformatting all the redoing of this particular course now if you are already in the crochet instructor training program don't fret you don't have to do anything else or different or new um, to get any updates that we make as soon as those updates are, are made we're going to restructure this course right here. So if you are already in, if you're already enrolled, you don't have to do anything. If you want to participate in the reformat and you want to join our community, um, again, it is just 29 bucks a year and then you're in the door, okay? So I wanna walk you guys through what, hold on, where is it at? There it is, hold on, too many screens. Where? Oh, where is it? Oh, well, I was going to show you guys what it is, but, you know, I, hold on, we'll do that later. I was going to show you guys the community, but I guess you'll just have to sign up to see it. Um, so the community is just for individuals who have gone through the American Crochet Association Instructor Training Program. Um, and it is a very select group. It is not an open invitation. Um, you're not just going to happen upon it. It is not a free for all. It is only people who have enrolled in this. And the reason that was so important to me is that um, there are so many different ideas about how to teach. There's so many different resources in terms of teaching. I have a really specific um, manual and I have really specific resources and I have a really specific structure in terms of what to teach, how to teach, in what order. Um, and so I wanted everyone to start with that baseline. Um, I don't want anyone to walk in the door and ask a question or feel overwhelmed or confused because they're trying to teach and it's like, I, I have answers for you, but really I'd have to start at the beginning. So take the course. So this is just for people who have taken the course. So um, it is a really great solution for everyone who's enrolled in this course. If you want to, uh, you want to have a community feel, if you want something supplemental to just this training, if you want access to others who have gone through this training, if you want to kind of test out or share your expertise, ask questions, get support, get feedback, all of that kind of stuff. So it is just a specific resource for them. And uh, because it's just a specific resource for them, that's also where I'm gonna be doing this lesson reformat, all right? Okay, I'm gonna talk more about that in just a minute, but it looks like quite a few of you are here. So I'm gonna say hey to Amanda. Amanda is not only part of our crochet instructor training program. Amanda was, I think, one of our very first students who helped test that out. Uh, so she helped us make it good because she's an excellent instructor. Um, but Amanda is also part of that community. And Amanda was the first one to sign up um, for that live reformat video training. So Amanda, I cannot wait to see you. And I'm so glad that you signed up for that. My friend Monica Mercado is here. So good to see you. It looks like Daryl is here from Trinidad. Angie is here. So good to see you. A Facebook user is checking in from North Dakota. Hello, hello. Rachel is here. Ashley made it again from the Dales, Oregon. So good to see you. Uh, sound check, great. Video clip, okay, great. That's always a worry of mine is that I'm 10 minutes into something and you guys can't see or hear me. <laughs> Rachel says, I think it may be the only one I haven't done yet. Uh, if you're interested, you can start, you can get in the door for as little as $43. We have a payment plan. And then if you want to upgrade, it's just 29 bucks a year. So I would love to see you in it. Any questions, just let me know. We got another Facebook user from Utah. Good to see you. Dawn is here. Hello, Dawn. Elaine is here and is very excited. Cheryl is checking in from Texas. Hello, Angelica. So good to see you. Amanda Woodbury says, still my favorite course. Oh, you're still one of my favorite students. <laughs> Not that I'm keeping track or have a list. 
All right, everyone. Okay, so you've seen a little bit more about it. Maybe you're already familiar because you've gone through the whole thing. I just wanted to share a few updates and I want to talk to you guys about what I'm thinking in terms of restructure. And I would just love the general masses feedback on this, okay? Now, the first thing that I've done to kind of implement some changes is that we have a quiz feature. And I love the quiz feature for quite a few reasons, but we've never put the quiz feature here at the instructor training program because I had you guys doing other things over behind the scenes. Now, whenever you go through this course, you may go, well, how do I, I earn a certificate of completion, but uh, you know, how are we like kind of testing out my skills? Uh, well, once you earn their certificate of completion, it means you've gone through the entire training program. So that just means that you have all the tools and resources to be successful. And that certificate shows that you've gone through all of the material and uh, that you're going to be working on and applying it. What I love about quizzes is that it's a way for you to, um, and everything's taken directly from the training material. So I want to be a little tricky, you know, is it, is it A or B? Is it one or two? Is it wait three or wait four? I want to be a little tricky because I really want to test your knowledge and skill. Um, so it's just a way to assure that, uh, however you, um, however you went through this material that you're picking up and learning key points and moments that are really important. And that's going to help you progress through the series in a way that is just going to help you be the best instructor that you can be. So that's something a little new that I just implemented. There's a quiz after uh, the lecture portions of this series and, uh, and also the pattern portion of the series. So I'd love to hear what you guys think on that as you go through it. Okay, so the whenever I created this course uh, or whenever I create courses in general, um, sometimes it's it's uh, it's a little tricky to know in what order and how do I put things and what do I say and how do I say it. So the way this is currently structured is that I have um, everything as a lecture, but there are some things that are just lecture and there are some things that are lecture with action steps things that you do with your student, right? So if you walk into a crochet, my crochet instructor training program, you may go, what do I, what do I do? How do I do it? I don't even know where to start. Um, crochet instructor training is not just what the lesson is. It's the, it's everything about it, where to find students, how to find students, the, the marketing, the business model, the business strategies, what do you do? What, you know, how do you keep assure students keep coming back? So it's the strategies and the systems and the business models in tandem with, and here's exactly what the syllabus is for lesson one. How many lessons should you have? What should you teach in every single lesson? So I give you all of those, all of that knowledge and resources, and then you have a test student and you walk through each one of these with that test student. And that's gonna help you not only build your knowledge, but apply that knowledge into skill. And that's what's going to assure that you are a crochet instructor with uh, training and resources to be successful, right? Okay, so the way it's structured right now is that I do have a few things that are lectures and those lecture, lectures are split up into instructor, strategy, and resources. And I have three different lectures on that. Private crochet instruction, client journey, templates, and forms. So that's just lecture. And uh, then the rest of it is, here's what you do with your students. So here's level one, lesson one, lesson two. Here's level two for your student, lesson three, lesson four. Here's level three with your student, lesson five, lesson six. So um, that is our strategy in terms of how you teach. Now, the more I look at this and the more I look at this structure, um, you know, the part of my brain that's a rebel just wants to kind of shake it up a little bit, do it a little differently. So I'm not changing what you're learning. I'm not changing the information. I'm not changing um, what we teach at the American Crochet Association because all of that is tried and true. So the thing that I want to do is I want to change the structure in terms of how it's presented because what I would like for you guys to do is treat this like a classroom. Pretend you're you're coming to my classroom and you're sitting down and you're going to learn how to be a crochet instructor. So the more I looked at this, the more I thought, well, this isn't how I would teach in a classroom. Even though it's an online setting, it can still look and feel like a classroom. So I thought, let me take these lectures and I wanna turn it into a manual. 
And I don't think I can share my screen. I can't share my, I, I don't want to share this other part. I'm, I'm working on it. So what I've done is instead of you just seeing a section that's instructor strategies and resources, and then these three different lectures on these three different topics, I'm going to turn that into instructor training manual. And within that, there's going to be different sections that go through all of the things that you need to know and learn and do. And it's going to be in a reference manual that you can refer to. Um, right now, I'm not certain it's structured in a way that a universal audience can just, if you're walking in the door and you're just like, how do I charge? How, how much do I charge? You may not be able to find that in the way that it's structured right here. If you're like, how do I market? Which one of these are you going to click on? So that's what I mean by, I think it could be better. I think it could be different. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm taking all of these. I'm taking all that information. Um, I'm making sure that the point is clear. Um, I love to storytell, so, um, and everybody learns in different ways. So the way I like to compile my information in my courses is I want you, I want you to have something to read, something to watch, something to listen to, and then something to do. So when you walk in the door, I want you guys to have this crochet instructor reference manual. And that's going to help you not only with everything that you need to know and learn and do and apply to be a crochet instructor, but then we're going to have the courses and or then we're going to section out the lessons and you're going to know exactly this is what I'm going to teach people and this is how I'm going to teach them. So I really want to implement uh, that reference manual and that's what I'm going to test out um, and in the live version with the community. So if you want in on that action and if you want uh, if you want to go through that with us again, come on in, join that community. If you have any questions, comments, feedback, just let me know. So another thing, all right, so uh, you want to know how to teach, so you go through the manual, right? You have that information, now you know all the, now I know what to do and how to do it and when and why, and I've got answers to questions and, and stories and feedback and things like that. So now you're ready to teach. I want to restructure these in different ways because the way I see it is, one, you just want to know what to teach. So you want the syllabus, you want the patterns, you want the resources, but then you want to know what is it that I'm teaching? What are the teaching objectives? What is it that I'm supposed to do? What are the learning objectives? And one thing that I think would be brilliant to have is an actual checklist. We don't really have that right now in terms of a form. And I think that things like that, I think templates like that would be really helpful. And that way, as you go through lesson one with your student, you're not just giving them a pattern. You're going, I'm teaching you this in lesson one. I'm teaching you these specific things. And when I can mark off, when I can see that you've demonstrated each one of these things, then you can move on to lesson two. It's not that we don't teach that or advocate that in the current instructor training program right now, but I think that those points that I do make in this training program would be far more clear if we had something like a checklist. So I want to implement more forms like that, but in a really streamlined way. And that way you just kind of go, all right, I'm ready for lesson one. What do I need for this student? Print and go. And I've got the manual that tells me exactly what to do and how to do it and when and why. So that's something I can reference if I have any questions. All right, let's see who else is here and what you guys are saying. Ashley says, I wanted to attend the classes when ACA was coming to the Columbia River Gorge and they canceled due to COVID-19 and I was very sad. You were going to be one of the trainers. Yeah, so that that's right. I do. I live here in Oregon and the Pacific Northwest Yarny Social was something that was going to initially start in 2021. It was canceled. Uh, however, it was rescheduled for 2022, and I did attend. So if you weren't there last year, you missed out. Um, I didn't go into any courses or training or anything like that. So really, it was just kind of a... Um, you know, I it was a fun thing. So I hosted a fun day. I gave away books. People asked questions. It was just kind of a live Q&A. Everybody was just kind of, you know, they brought their own crochet project and worked on that. It was just kind of a live ask me anything type thing. And I gave stuff away. Uh, and now this year, that same event is actually going to be in Idaho. And I don't think I'm going to be able to attend. 
Um, but that's actually, you know, because it's really hard to do things in person, it's hard to meet in person, things get canceled and distance and cost and all of that. Um, you know, for all of those reasons, that's why the American Crochet Association is online. Uh, you can sign up on your favorite device. You can go through things on your own time. And if you do want to be part of a community, I have spaces online. And that way, if you want to ask me a question or if you want to have a conversation or talk to other people who are doing the same thing, I have those resources for you. So I hope you check this out. Hello, Dottie. Good to see you. Angie says, would this course help with my seven-year-old granddaughter who wants to learn crochet? Um, I've got a yes and no answer for you. Um, and I will share a resource. Uh, I've written an entire article on uh, how to teach kids. And I think that would probably be helpful to uh, help you decide, you know, um, at what age you should teach children. So that is something that's going to also be covered in the manual as I reformat it. It's something that I already cover, but again, right now, whenever you're looking at this, it doesn't say manual. There's just three different sections. So if you want an answer to that question, again, it may be a little tricky to find it here. You're gonna have to watch and click just a, just a little bit. Uh, so when this is a manual, you will be able to very easily find an answer to this. Um, Angie, if your seven-year-old is uh, ready to learn, then uh, yes, this would be a perfect training program. The thing that I love about the instructor training course is that it's everything that you'd need to teach crochet. And I really wanted a one size fits all course for that because maybe you just wanna teach your kids. Maybe you just wanna teach your friends. Maybe you just want to know how to be an effective teacher. It's never gonna be a job. It's not your career. You just want to teach people how to crochet and you're not gonna charge. And again, it's, it's just a thing that you do because you love crochet you can use this course. If teaching, if that's, it's something that you want in your future, you wanna do it professionally, you wanna charge for it, this is everything that you would need to know. So there are, there are um, details and resources and conversations and information, no matter who you want to teach, no matter what age, no matter what stage, no matter who they are, it doesn't matter. This course is massive. It has all the information you'd need to help you decide what you can do and when and how and with who. So again, Angie, I can't say you will teach your seven-year-old because really I think it's up to them whether or not they want to learn. I'm gonna share that resource with you. It's just a quick article and it's like, how to know if your kid's ready to crochet. And if they are, great, here you go. Here's how to get started. And this resource is one that you can use, absolutely. Angela, you're not late. This is impromptu. I did not schedule it. And I just wanted to let everybody know what was going on because this is pretty exciting. All right, everybody, so that's all I wanted to share with you guys right now. If you are already in the door for the Crochet Instructor Training Program, click on over again as soon as you log in. Community is one of the things in the resources that is an upgrade just because, um, you know, it, it's a very separate thing. It's a separate thing that I house. It's a separate thing that I admin. It's a completely separate experience, but it is just for people who are in the crochet instructor training program. So it is not mandatory for you to upgrade and join this experience, but there is an open invitation for everybody who's in the crochet instructor training program. All you got to do is log in for those details. The very first live lesson reformat for this is going to be this weekend. Um, whenever you join, whenever you upgrade to that community instructor experience, uh, the event is there, the, you know, the video is, is there for you to partake in. It's not streaming yet, but again, all the resources are there. So it's going to be there, whether you watch the live or the replay, you can already, it's primed so that if you have questions now, if you have feedback or suggestions, you can post it and that can be part of the discussion. Um, after the live, if, if you can only watch the replay or if you want to watch the replay a few times, it's going to be available again for questions, comments, feedback. Whew. All right. That was a mouthful. Okay, everybody. So that's all that I wanted to share with you guys today. I'm really excited about consolidating and reformatting the information that's already available in this class. Um, again, it's already tried and true. Uh, hundreds and hundreds of people have gone through this training and it really does do an excellent job of assuring that you have and know 
uh, the things that are going to help you to be successful to teach no matter who you're teaching. All right, let's see. Oh, last comment. Let's see. All right. Oh, a few more comments. Hold on. Let me see what those are and then we'll close it out if I don't see any more comments. Ashley, I wasn't able to make it. Selena, I've been crocheting since the age of 12 plus knitting. Can you let me know when ACA decides to come back to the Columbia River Gorge? I wanted to check out in person. I don't have any plans of doing anything in person again this year. Uh, or in any of the future years, um, traveling and doing things in person, it's really difficult to do that. And I'm just far more effective with my message and my lessons and all of that uh, just by having the American Crochet Association School. I do a few things in my local yarn shops, but nothing I want to advertise right now. So if you are in the Central Oregon area, uh, maybe we can meet up and do something. But again, that is not part of what I do. So really, anything that I do, anything that I say, anything that I teach, anything you want to learn from me, you can do it at the American Crochet Association. So I can't wait to check you out there. Angie says, I taught my 13 year old granddaughter to crochet and she watched your videos with me and she has friends who want to learn to crochet. I am so proud to hear that. And I love stories like that. Really, you know, my goal and my mission at the American Crochet Association is just to pass crochet through the generations in better hands than we found it. So I'm really glad to hear that. Um, the things that you're watching, the things that you're reading, the things that we offer are just helping not only you, but future generations get excited about crochet and feel like they can be successful. So that's really good to hear. I love that. Thank you for sharing. Whew. And Amanda Woodbury cannot wait. All right, guys, if you want to join Amanda Woodbury to be a star student, a star crochet instructor in our training program, if you want to join Amanda Woodbury and others uh, and upgrade your experience to take part in the live lesson reformat, I cannot wait to build this training manual and I want your feedback to do it. So come on over and join. All right. If you're already there, Again, whether you're live or on the replay, if you are in that crochet instructor community, then you're going to have access to that. And if you don't want to join the community because you're like, I don't have time for that or just not interested, then again, the crochet instructor training program is going to be updated with that new information, that new material. Uh, as it becomes available. And that way you're not going to miss anything. All right, guys, that's all I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed this message, share this in at least one place you enjoy crochet. If you think they will enjoy it too. If you've got a crochet friend and you think they would dig this uh, and maybe you want to go through this training program with them, you know, friends are always going to help make a learning experience more fun. Go ahead and tag them in the comments. All right. Again, questions, comments, feedback. Just let me know. I'll get to it as soon as I see it, okay? Peace, love, crochet, everybody. See you next time. Bye-bye.